hello guys so someone in my previous video commented that i explained how to create this edit from one of johnny harris video and in the edit or in the video as you can see here when the camera zooms in you notice that the background is not moving the background remains the same and also once the camera is focused on this newspaper here the rest of the background is kind of blurry but when you zoom in to one of the images the newspaper becomes blurry so there are actually two things that i want to show you how to edit that are similar but because of time i don't want this video to be too long so i'll be breaking them down into two two different two separate videos so this is the second one here and this is almost the same you can see the camera following along a certain path and the background image where there's a drug there is still the same so please don't forget to like and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and if you want to support my channel please you can do that on patreon or buy me a coffee so without wasting much time let's get into it so inside of after effects i've already created the composition of 980 by 1080 so i have some project files here that i'll be using for to show the example of, uh, example of this video so the first and um, assets we have here is the scratch texture that i downloaded from free peak then a news an old newspaper saddam hussein and his military chiefs and also a picture of a military behind the fire so that's what i'll be using so i'll be linking this in the description below if you want to follow along with the tutorial so the first thing we need to do is to bring down our scratch texture and resize it because it's a bit large so i'll just press x on my keyboard to bring up the scale property then scale it down to just fit our composition then next i'll bring in the newspaper it don't it doesn't matter you can bring in any of them as you want then scale it down just scale this down to this size here then select these two and put them on top then scale them I'll scale this down and bring up the position by pressing P and moving it to the side then I'll also press P on this on this US military and also move it to the left so the next thing we need to do is I'm going to highlight all the newspaper US Marine and Saddam Hussein and make them 3D except for the background image. You need to leave that as 2D. You need to leave that as 2D. Then go to toggles and switches and click on click on mode and make them multiple. Now you can see that they are they're a bit transparent, just like the video from Johnny Harris video. So the next thing we're going to do is that we are going to make it two views so we can have another view from the top because they are now 3d so we can now have another view from the top i'm going to close this so we have larger view so i'm going to move this image of marine here and this image of salam in a bit to the back in z space so you can do this with so i'm going to just unhighlight this and select only one you can do this with this controls here or you can press p on your keyboard and use this z parameter here to move it to the back depending on your project you might want to scale it down or scale it up depending on your project i won't go into details about how to do 3d here so i'm going to do this for the both images on the left i'm going to move it to the back in bits then move this newspaper to the front just a bit here then i'm going to make this half half resolution half rendering so that it's a bit faster so the next thing we need to do is to bring up a camera to do this we need to put the camera to do this go to layer new then camera then i won't go into details here you can search on youtube to see more tutorials on how to use a camera if you have if you don't know about it i'm going to use one node you can pick two nodes or one depending on your project then i'm going to pick the 80 millimeter camera and enable depth of depth of field we can change any of the settings here it doesn't matter you can leave this as as it is but we can change any of the settings even after creating so i'm just going to click ok here and zoom out on this so the main things you're going to be working on is let me just go to click on this drop down here and go to go to camera options so the main things you're going to be working on is up and aperture and focus distance so wherever the focus distance is is where the camera will be focused on mainly let me just hold on let me explain so this is our focus distance here this line here right here 
so i'm just going to push it a bit inside and raise the aperture i'm just going to raise it high now you can see that in our image here the, the image is further away these images at the back here now are becoming blurry because our focus distance is closer to the to this newspaper than the images behind it but when you zoom in or when you zoom in like this you notice that our newspaper becomes blurry and these images here becomes sharper because our focus distance is closer to the images in the background or behind it so you can always animate this focus distance and and, and aperture to get what you want you can also use the blur and um, blur level to do more stuff so i'm just going to create a quick animation just to show you how to do this so i'm just i'm going to close this my aperture is in one i'm going to set the number i'm going to go back to the default then bring up the position value for the camera depending on your project you might need to open get a two mode camera or add a null object object to control your camera and to control your camera but for this i'll just keep it simple just because of time if you have any questions or you need an in-depth tutorial you can chat in your own discord i will link my discord username in the description below so if you want to create the an animation click on click on the stopwatch icon here and move it a bit further to the front then go to maybe two seconds and more there then move your camera forward a bit then go forward a bit copy your keyframe from here and paste it copy and paste then go to the front and move your camera back There are a lot you can do with this so just because of time i don't want to keep this video long so if you have any questions you can let me know so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't thank you